Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fatal foods that you can still buy. Poison. 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 For this list, we'll be looking at foods that, despite being dangerous in certain situations, can be purchased by consumers. Have you ever tried any of these deadly dishes? If so, be sure to share if they were worth the risk in the comments below. Number 10. Cassava. Also known as yuca or manioc, this starchy tuber is a staple in diets across the world. Fill them with uh, a stuffing, the good meat and something local. Cassava? From sweet tapioca pudding to delectable atieke, cassava is a versatile and tasty food. Despite its many uses and preparations, cassava cannot be consumed raw. The popular food contains cyanide, and some varieties even have lethal amounts of toxins. Cassava must be prepared properly to remove the toxins, which means the root must be soaked, cooked, or fermented in some way before it is consumed. Fermenting. You know how to seal it? No, chef. We can learn. Eating or drinking improperly prepared cassava could lead to goiters, paralysis, or even death. So make sure to do your research before chowing down. No, no, no! Don't just hork it down. Number nine, green potatoes. What we need is a few good taters. What's taters, Brussels? What's taters, huh? Potatoes. We go from one popular and potentially deadly tuber to another. From curries to poutine, potatoes are consumed in various forms throughout the world. However, if improperly stored and subsequently not peeled properly, potatoes can cause some nasty illnesses. If they are exposed to too much light during storage, potatoes can go green, which indicates higher levels of toxins known as glycoalkaloids. If consumed, these toxins can cause painful side effects such as gut irritation. Miss Dawson, my tummy hurts! Peeling the green off the potatoes can help remove the toxins, but it may not completely eliminate the risk of poisoning. So make sure to toss any especially bitter tubers. Hot potato! Oh, 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 oh. No! <laughs> Excellent part. Number eight, alfalfa sprouts. The clouds opened up and God said, I hate you, alfalfa. Surely anything this small with a name this cute can't be that dangerous, right? Well, sometimes it's the cute little ones you really have to look out for. <laughs> Sprouts can really level up salads and sandwiches with their light flavor, wispy texture, and satisfying crunch, but they can also send you to the hospital. Because sprouts thrive in warm, humid climates, they can carry a variety of deadly bacteria, such as Listeria, E. coli, and Salmonella. While cooking sprouts can kill these bacteria, sprouts are usually consumed raw, and they have subsequently been linked to several dangerous outbreaks over the years. Methods of cleaning sprouts vary, but if you are especially susceptible to nasty side effects, you might want to steer clear. Are there sprouts in here? There are no sprouts. <laughs> nothing alive. Nothing alive, nothing healthy, don't worry. Number seven, ghost peppers. Hey guys, Greg and Ralph here with the ghost pepper challenge. It's supposed to be spicy, we'll see about that. Mmm, it's not so, oh, this is very hot, oh my God, stop. <laughs> Considering their spooky name, it might come as no surprise that ghost peppers can have deadly consequences. While a small amount of ghost pepper as seasoning can actually benefit your health by providing vitamin C and boosting your metabolism, you can definitely have too much of a good thing. Consuming too many ghost peppers can actually tear your esophagus or cause other severe gastrointestinal issues, especially if you eat them in pureed form. I ate some ghost peppers earlier, just on toast. I like to cleanse the system, so I should probably just put my butt over a bowl. And... Eating pounds of peppers can even lead to death in some cases. No matter how much you love spicy foods, we don't recommend doing that. <laughs> Not to dump out. <laughs> My grandma always said, never touch your face when... <laughs> now my eyes burning. My eyes burning and my lips are on fire. Number six, kazumartsu. When the literal translation of a dish means putrid or rotten cheese, you might want to avoid it. It's cheese. Cheese doesn't go bad. This sheep milk cheese from Sardinia contains live maggots. 
which create additional fermentation and more intense flavors in the cheese. The cheese is considered spoiled if the maggots die, so the cheese is consumed when they are still alive. How are those maggots? <laughs> maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots, how do they taste? <laughs> in some cases, the maggots can survive digestion and live in the diner's intestine, causing a parasitic infection. While the cheese is officially outlawed by the European Union due to safety concerns, Kazu Martsu is still produced in secret and can be found on the black market in some areas. Are you suggesting the black market, Mrs. Patmore? If she did, I'm shocked. Oh, I doubt that very much. Number five, Hakarl. Deadly or not, this Icelandic delicacy is not for the faint of heart. It's not for the faint of heart. Hakarl consists of the cured meat of a sleeper shark, such as the Greenland shark. The shark meat is prepared through fermentation and dried for months before being consumed. Due to the fermentation process and the shark meat itself, Hakarl contains massive amounts of ammonia, which gives it an almost overwhelming cleaning product smell. It burns! Ammonia burns? Write that down. Despite the smell, the fermentation process actually makes the meat edible. Raw shark meat is toxic to humans and can be harmful to the eyes, skin, and respiratory system, even causing death in some cases. Don't eat all the hors d'oeuvres. Little shark steak sandwiches? Yeah, save me some. Number four, kidney beans. Pass your beans, bean. Sheriff? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> As a widely consumed source of protein, kidney beans are enjoyed in a variety of cuisines. However, raw or undercooked kidney beans can be dangerous. Help myself to some beans. Hope you don't mind. No, no, of course not. You want me to heat those up for you? Fine like this. Due to high concentrations of the proteins known as lectins, kidney beans can be toxic if consumed raw. If improperly cooked, the lectin phytohemagglutinin in just a few kidney beans can cause distressing food poisoning symptoms, such as vomiting, headaches, and diarrhea. What did we eat? Oh, things are gone. What are you doing? It's coming out of me like lava. In order to destroy the lectins, kidney beans must be boiled for at least a half an hour, or that bowl of beans and rice might be the last thing you ever eat. Number three, San Nakchi. If you're somewhat squeamish, you might want to skip this entry. Okay, you know what? You know, I got a weak stomach. That's all I can really take. All right, I'll see y'all. Jay, Jay, be tough, Andy. You got it. San Nakchi is a simple dish consisting of chopped raw long arm octopus topped with sesame oil and seeds. However, the octopus is as fresh as it gets. Usually, this would be a good thing, but because of the octopus's complex nervous system, the tentacles still move shortly after it is killed. Therefore, the diner eats a still-moving octopus tentacle. In fact, some diners choose to eat a live octopus whole, foregoing the chopping altogether. Because the tentacles are still moving when they are eaten, there is a risk of the suction cups attaching to the throat and choking the diner to death from the inside. Number two, Aki. Ugh, that totally stinks. Eh, you're on borrowed time anyway. No, that. What are you eating? Aki and saltfish. Scientific name Blaya Sapida, this delicious delicacy is the national fruit of Jamaica and a prominent part of the country's national dish, Aki and saltfish. So you can smell it, girl. You know you That's smell it, girl. You know you smell the fried dumplings, the aki and the saltfish, oh. girl. When ripe, the aki is a delightful red color and yawns fully open to indicate that the fruit is free of dangerous toxins. However, unripened aki is highly toxic, containing massive amounts of hypoglycin toxins. Toxins. We're not in hell, Morty. We're in the detoxifier. The seeds of the fruit are always toxic and must be discarded, even when preparing ripened aki. If consumed, the seeds and unripened fruit can cause nausea, vomiting, seizures, and even death in some severe cases. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications.
Number 1. Fugu The deadliest dish on this list, fugu is made from the meat of certain species of pufferfish. The infamous pufferfish. When prepared incorrectly, it can lead to paralysis or even death. But when it is prepared correctly, it is like a volcano erupting in my mouth. Let's hope for the second. Popular in Japan, fugu is considered a delicacy. However, due to tetrodotoxin, fugu can be lethal to humans if prepared incorrectly. In fact, fugu preparation is such a delicate process that it's illegal for inadequately trained chefs to serve the dish. Concentrate, concentrate. I want ah! fugu! Mmm, fan fugu tastic. Decades ago, fugu kimo, or the liver of the fish, was considered to be the most delicious part of the fish and was very popular among Japanese diners. However, since the liver is also the most toxic organ, the dish has been banned since 1984. Better liver alone. <laughs> liver alone. <laughs> Oh, liver, liver, liver. It was a joke. No matter which part of the fish you eat, you're dancing with both deliciousness and death. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.